And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bobby Marqueso. You're listening to 98.1 FM and 1220 AM here in KHTS. UV index of 10 all the way and 99 degrees outside. 99 ugh, degrees outside. There's different degrees of heat. One is ugh, one is like, oh, my God. And then there's, you know, it gets worse from here that I can't go into, I guess. So, And Jason Downs. So I asked Jason this morning, hey, Jason, you know, can you, you're calling in on the phone. It's coming through barely. It's a little spotty. And and he's like, oh, I'm in Costa Rica. And he said it just like that, like really. I heard heard it too. I can, I can, I can fact check that. Thanks. Thanks, Patty. So, yeah. So how are things in Costa Rica? Uh, Well, you want to talk about some. I do want to talk about whatever you're talking about because oh, you're no. not coming through. This is how it's been, folks. <laughs> oh, no. He comes testing, in. Testing, testing. Listen, at most you have like five or six words every time, so make them count. <laughs> it is super hot. There you go. Oh, we understood that. All right, take a break. You must be I tired. Say, <laughs> I say calor. I say calor. Oh, now he speaks the language. <laughs> he does? It was very, na- very, very, it sounded natural when you spoke that. So the, it's, so I can, <laughs> I can set this up because Jason's still cutting in and out. But he, he's on a family vacay. And I thought, I pictured vacation with Chevy Chase. Right. You know, and if you could have, I would have pulled up Holiday Road. You know, but we can't. <laughs> and and uh, but no, he's not driving around. He's already in Costa Rica. I don't know if they're staying there the entire time, you know, or if they're traveling around. Jason, yeah, no, we're, we're we're just here sitting on a beach, sitting pool in Costa Rica, which I haven't done. I, you're breaking up again, but I understood. I understood enough of what you said to say you suck. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I got the gist <laughs> of what's going on. I heard the beach. Yeah, I heard. Oh, we're down here by the beach in the pool, and you know, it was enough to just go, "My God, man, stop!" <laughs> so, well, I. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be a great. So here's one. what we're going to do. We can, uh, Jason's going to keep trying. He's just going to pop in. Laura Munoz is on the uh, the phone with us. And we're talking about Santa Clarita Day. Santa Cl- Clarita Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm in the studio and I can't talk. <laughs> Santa Clarita Valley Day. And Laura Munoz, who's just been just working so hard uh, at, to put this together. I can't even tell you, Laura, the number of people I've talked to that are so 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 excited about this hi yeah thank you yeah i i i'm with you on that one um i um was at a function the other day and somebody came up to me and said didn't i just see you on the in the magazine (laughs) was that article on you i'm like yep so yeah i'm kind of hearing the buzz around town too uh which is kind of cool because we didn't really get a chance to do a lot of um campaigning for this we only had uh just over a month to put it together Um, And because it's a complete nonprofit situation, it's not like we had, you know, thousands of dollars to put banners up and flyers. And, you know, we really didn't have an opportunity to do that. So we left it up to the people, you know, Santa Clarita Valley and the vendors to promote their own, you know, their self being there. And that seems to have helped a lot. We have 65 vendors right now. So, you know, 65 vendors with 65 different types of social media outlets and friends and family, the word gets out there. Yeah. And one so of the, that, that's, one of the uh, local business owners um, had said they're also going to kind of treat it like a job fair because they're looking for people. Well, yes. So I think that's yes, fantastic as well. What a good idea. It's not just one, though. They're like, oh, so there? we have 65 vendors. We have 15 people participating in the job fair portion of it. And uh, we have 25, 25 vendors that this will be the first time they've sold anything in over a year and a half. Um, we have um, food. So there's going to be a food truck there. There's going to be the food from, like, Firehouse Subs and Baja Fresh and Ben & Jerry's. Um, 
they're going to be serving as well. Uh, they better be in the parking lot and I out. Mean, they're yeah, like they right there. If they uh -huh. didn't, and then, that uh, would we be do lame. have food trucks. We did get Kona Ice is coming out because it's going to be a hot day. We have a DJ coming out playing music, and he has been so gracious to have an open mic. So our vendors will be able to blast out where they are, who they are, introduce themselves to everybody. It really, truly is going to be a like a hometown community event where the whole entire community is going to be involved in, you know, making this thing happen. Well, and giving us, you know, it's that, it's that hand up, like all the businesses need and, and things like that, especially yep. now. So I, I just love that idea. How long have you been putting this together? It's it just, just well, the past couple of weeks or? No, I started it <laughs> two months ago. It's oh, two months. Done. That's not even that long. <laughs> I was thinking, ago, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking six months or, but no, two months. I, I started wow. it about two months ago. It was a small little, uh, a little idea because like I had said before, you know, I have a company called Kids Management. We do kids background casting. And this is the first time in 27 years that we actually were impacted. I mean, we there was earthquakes and, you know, all this stuff, and we always recovered very quickly. But this particular situation uh, really, really hurt, hurt us hard. As everybody knows, the entertainment industry is really suffering. They're having to COVID test everybody, and now, now they're jumping on board where they may want to only use people that have um, been vaccinated, which, as you know, is almost impossible for the children because so yeah, many Because of haven't. age, yeah, so far. Mm hmm Exactly. So, um so I started to come up with an idea for like a job fair, a local job fair, so that I could put my business in it and we could kind of bring ourselves back. And which turned out to be great because we tapped into things to Jason, to the Santa Cruz Valley uh, school districts, and we're working out something with them to try and help the families out here that are really struggling. You know, these parents can't get jobs and stuff like that. So we're actually going to incorporate the children to work on TV shows, movies, and commercials and do something fun and exciting and make some money to try and help the families out. So nice. that's kind of what our goal is there. But um, as I started looking into the job fair portion of it, I contacted people at COC because they just had their job there in April. And I guess it wasn't as successful as they had hoped it'd be coming from other people's mouths, not COC's. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's just because there was nothing fun to do. There was nothing to do. You know, it was just a job there. So I decided to incorporate uh, the businesses that have been hurt, especially um, even the ones that are thriving, just to come out and make themselves known and say we're still here and, and sell their stuff, promote their stuff. So it turned into the job fair, small business uh, and boutique expo and invited some food trucks. And then people started coming out of the woodworks and mm -hmm. wanting to donate their time. Um, to do certain things like the DJs donating the time for the music. Wow. Uh, so it just kind of really blew up. We have face painting and story time. Um, one of the biggest hurdles, if anybody's ever put it on an event, is where is the parking going to be? Exactly, because uh, there's not much right around no, in that area. nothing, actually. Because you're in the nothing. parking lot. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so um, Santa Clarita Valley Porsche, has so graciously given us the parking lot for event parking. So oh, wow. um, we will have signs out for everybody to know where the event parking is with arrows. And, and so there really shouldn't be any issues with event parking at all. And it will not take away from the daily business from the stores that are still there, which is nice. Right. Oh, yeah, especially. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. I can't wait. Yes, it's very good. Excited. It's such a... I mean, like you said, this thing just kind of blew up, and and I think it's a, a really good sign that some of the the vendors that are going to be there are actually hiring. They need people, yes. right? And so they that's are. a great sign for the economy. And and uh, if if anybody's looking for a job, I mean, that would be perfect. If you got laid off, you know, yep. last year, or for whatever reason you just haven't been able to to get a job and go back to work, this is perfect. Because again, a couple of the vendors that I know are upstanding companies and would love to hire you so right yeah they right. should go they're down they're bringing and... applications they have online applications they have paper applications my company has um we have 
um, been able to do like a DocuSign. So we'll, we may have live applications and just register kids right then and there. Oof. So, um, so we're going to be doing the same thing, you know, hiring kids that want to work in the entertainment industry. Do they have and, to, uh, do they have to perform for you? Like where's, you know, where, outfits and and twirl batons with firecrackers (laughs) on them or no (laughs) no these are just average everyday kids that just want to work in the entertainment industry and you know the the pay is great and it's a great experience especially if anybody has you know working in theater or anything like that this is definitely a way to get their you know foot in the door yeah that's awesome yeah well thank you laura anything else that you want to say about that day it's in the parking lot where the bookstore is and bear cafe and Yep, ben and Jerry's. It is, uh, yeah, it is August 14th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And um, it's at the uh, it's a parking lot where Barnes & Noble is. It's uh, 23626, I believe, is that parking lot. Um, and the um, Santa Cruz Valley Rotary Club, you know, I'm a Rotarian. Jason's a Rotarian. And we're there's a couple things going on that day. So, the Porsche dealership is having what they have, Cars and Coffee, which I know you, you've heard of. Yes. So they have Cars and Coffee, and usually they have like 200 people show up throughout in oh. the morning from 9 to 11. Good so we're going to be piggybacking off each other nice. is what we're going to be doing, which is and, – and they love it. We love it. And then after our event, the Rotary Club, we have the car show over at Route 66 at 5 o'clock. That's a long so, day, Laura. You know, it is a long day, but you know what? <laughs> it's going to be a fun day. Yes, so. it is. I mean, from from morning until dusk, it sounds like. Yep. That's really yep. cool. Laura, thank you so much. Wish you the best of luck, of course. And uh, I don't know how Jason feels, but maybe we could also have you on again next week just as a, a last-minute reminder and let everybody know what's happening and, and that kind of thing. I would love it. That'd be great. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, Laura. All right. Bye. An amazing time will be had by all. Oh, yeah. It sounds like. Totally. And by the way, Jason did, uh, if you heard the... the, the he hung one, up. He did, whether on purpose or not. I think it was on purpose. You think it's so? Like, I, <laughs> so it's either one of two thought processes. Yes. One was, I'm very sad. <laughs> they can apparently do this without me, and they don't need me. And then he hung up. <laughs> or it's like, Bobby, oh, you son of a... And then hung up. Right. Or he's also at the beach and his phone fell in the ocean. <laughs> he's, at, he's at the beach next to the pool and a shark <laughs> came up and snatched the phone away from Jason. Why the phone and not, like, not, you know. It's a very particular shark. It's mm, a certain kind of shark. <laughs> it's, it's a phone shark. It's a phone shark. Like a lone shark, except. Ex- yeah. Now you've pushed it too far. Oh, no, I didn't. Didn't I? All right. Um, we, can, we can go to, if you want to go to break so I can get him back. I well, let me. Uh, or we could just keep going. Well, we'll keep going for just a few, okay. a few seconds, and we'll, then we'll cut off to break. I was uh, the other day. My daughter had come up to me and was reading some of the stupid laws, right? That were w- that were out, and so that kind of inspired me. And I thought, you know, this would be a good little segment on the show. Some of the laws that we've all heard of, right? That, right. That's yes. that you can you can't do, and of course these are way back in olden times. And I, I, this first one. This is going to create controversy already, I can tell. (laughs) But I walk on the edge of controversy, my friend. Danger. But it says that uh, a man can legally Uh abuse his wife, but not more than once a month. Oh. So there is a limit. Oh. Man. Oh. And I want to say that's 18, if not early 1800s, right? Really? (laughs) Something. Oh, Jason's calling me on Facebook. Not now, Jason. I'm doing a show. <laughs> and um, it says, oh, so oh, I kind of have to answer. He's calling me now. <laughs> I mean, we, I could, we can pick it up on the mic, him talking. Hey, Jason. Yeah, I'm, I, can't, I can't talk right now. I'm doing a show. <laughs> did he hang up on you? I don't know. Oh, no. He's... Did, you, did you hear me, Jason? Oh my! I said I can't talk right now. I'm doing a show. Yeah, no, I know, but I was, I was, I was hoping that, that maybe, uh, you know, we could get this to work because this, this I can do. It seems, it, it seems like whatever the phone thing is, is just not working. Um, so how about, you know, when you take a break, we can try and work on this, and you know, uh, keep, keep, 
keep doing the show. How about? Well, that's a swell idea. I wish Patty and I had come up with that. <laughs> Golly gee. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> this is the reason you're the leader, my friend. <laughs> You know, if I ever had doubts before, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So carry on, and I'll stand by. Oh, you do that. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway, a long, long time ago, right? Um, if you were released from prison, you must be given a handgun with bullets and a horse. Huh? It's a. You have to survive. Yeah. How bad do you feel? We release him from jail and. He got run over in a stampede. That's not cool. Survivability. Ooh, I yes. can't read this one. Uh-oh. Mm, no, I can't. <laughs> um, it, it's illegal. I've never heard of this one. It's illegal. By the way, these are really old laws. They do, they're do. they not in existence. Clearly. Actually, actually, though, some stupid laws are still on the books that nobody's ever bothered to change. That they're still in existence, but they don't really are. Aren't today, really... they're not enforced. Yeah, of course, that's say. just ridiculous. <laughs> um, it's illegal to carry a Bible or to talk to anyone about Jesus Christ. It's illegal. Illegal. I, and you know what? I wish. I think I could click on these, but it, I wish they could tell us where these laws were and <laughs> the date. Um, all lollipops are banned uh, since oh. the year 1173. It's been illegal to die. So don't do it. <laughs> you don't want the, the repercussions from that. It would be the rope for you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> it's considered an offense to shower in the nude. Don't do it. Do you? I don't want to get personal here. <laughs> this would be a great time for a break. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to 98.1 FM. 12.20 a.m. K-H- oh, you're turning red. KHTS, it's 126. We'll be back on Common Ground in just a few moments. Santa Clarita Valley residents now have greater access to the excellent physicians and high-quality medical services for which Providence Holy Cross is known. Providence Holy Cross Health Center in Santa Clarita features state-of-the-art cancer and imaging technologies, as well as board-certified physicians in a variety of medical specialties. Quality and compassion from a health care provider you can depend on. For more information, call 1-888-HEALING or visit us at Providence.org. Your business sign is essential to getting customers to your location. Feathers can help you get your business noticed. Feathers, now in a new larger space with plenty of parking. They walk you through each phase of your project with special attention to detail and quality. Feathers will provide you a sign that you can be proud of. Your sign will draw customers in instead of having them drive by. Visit Feathers online at feathersigns.com or go to Feathers' brand new bigger location at 26017 Huntington Drive off Rye Canyon or call 298-9442. When was the last time you had a business insurance checkup? That long, eh? It's most likely Glen Terry time for you and your business. Glen Terry has been a Santa Clarita resident since 1980 and has deep roots in the community. 22 years in the insurance industry, a trusted commercial insurance specialist with LBW, licensed in 50 states, there's nobody I'd trust more. Call Glenn Terry today and set up your free business insurance checkup at 661-702-6005. Glenn Terry sticks to the mission, not the co-mission. Yeehaw! No words can describe the power of belonging to a group of close friends or being part of a family. Insight Treatment Center was founded more than 20 years ago to give teenagers a community of friends and family as they overcome issues like depression, anxiety, and trauma. The new Santa Clarita location is a COVID-secure environment where distance and good airflow are a priority. As a leader in providing intensive outpatient treatment to teenagers, Insight Treatment Center in Santa Clarita is here to help. Call 888-295-9995 or go online to insighttreatment.com. Your hometown station, KHTS.
back, everybody. It's 98.1 and 1220 AM KHTS. You're listening to Common Ground. It's 129 and 100 degrees. And we went up on the UV scale. It was 10. It's now 11. Oh, oh my. I can feel it. You know who can't feel it? Who? Jason. Oh, why is that? Do you want to know why Jason can't feel it? Yeah, why? Two, two words. Costa Rica. Ooh. He's on the... He's on the beach. Uh, I know. This is absurd. Can you hear us over the waves, Jason? Can you hear us? I can hear you, yeah. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Can yeah. Can you hear me now? Testing, testing? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, this is absurd, but I, I'm, I, I, I love you guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you for being so cool about this. Uh-huh. Um, what I am disappointed about, I can, do, I can do without Patty and Bobby. Right. I am disappointed that wow. I'm not there wow. with Mr. Tim Ben Boydson. Uh, we, we, we're lucky enough to have Mr. Boydson in the studio today. Uh, there's no one else I'd rather take my place over there. He's a, he's a, he's a delight. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited that you're getting to meet him, Bobby. I'm a delight? You are. You are. You are absolutely a delight. And a pleasure <laughs> my pride and joy. Yeah. I know I'm a delight. You don't have to tell me. I didn't today, bring her. But today, Mr. Boydson is our special guest. So yeah. I know. I don't tell you enough. I don't tell you enough. But wouldn't I hurt you. you yeah, it wouldn't I, hurt you. I, to I really, I, you could say it once in a while. You know. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm saying it now. No. I'm saying it now. Oh, yeah. Count? From Costa Rica. It, it doesn't count that I'm saying it. No. All right. <laughs> I'm feeling, dude, I mean, you know, this is something I want to talk about today, too. I want to talk about doing nothing. Doing nothing. Nothing. I was talking to Mr. Boydson. Are you Go ahead. Uh, yeah, because, you know, I, I, we, we relax. There are moments where we relax watching a ball game or what have you. But how often do we do nothing anymore? That's, that's what I want to talk about later. But I also want to talk about how important it is to, to attend theater. This is something that I've loved my entire life. And we are fortunate enough to have quality theater in this community. And we are fortunate enough that it is now open again. <laughs> and I know Mr. Boydson is happy about this as well. Um, but I, I had the good fortune to go and see Sweet Surrender this past weekend, which is now open. And uh, I, 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 I feel certain it's open for at least another weekend. Am I right there, uh, Mr. Boydson? Yes, actually it's open uh, for two more weekends is playing. Two more weekends. Two more weekends, even better. And uh, so we, we can talk more about that. But um, I just thought it was a delight. And I keep using that word because now Bobby, you know, has, has implanted it in my brain. Uh, but, but it was a pleasure. <laughs> and I had a blast. I uh, got to take the whole family. And we laughed and we cried. Especially because there's such a sense of family there. That when you go, you can feel the joy of not only the players, but the audience. The audience was so relieved to be back, as well as the players. Anyway, I'm going to let Mr. Boydson talk, because this guy has been, has been a pillar here in this community for 47 years. Bobby, he's been doing that. He's been running that theater for 47 years. I know. He's, he, he just uh, finished directing his 47th show, so you're right on target with that. Oh, is it That's 47 correct. shows or 47 years? <laughs> That's almost correct, but n- not quite. I'm, I would have had to start when I was like 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, we, we, a, a number correct. of you, I've actually been the executive uh, artistic director uh, at the Theater Guild, been, get, been running the theater, the business of the theater for 22 years. So I was there a few years before that as well, so I'm um, probably closing in on 30 or so. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been wonderful. That uh, it was wonderful to see everyone out there, and I would say it would be uh, great to see their smiling faces, but of course you can't because the audience has masks on. But uh, it, it is still great fun and wonderful to have people back in the theater again, and we're very fortunate that the that our, our patrons at the theater they have stood by us all the time. We didn't lose any uh, members; everyone stuck by us the whole time, and so. We are so excited to be back open again and doing this wonderfully fun comedy farce, uh, Sweet Surrender. And then we're going to be following it up really soon with more great theater, too. We're 
in another two weekends, we're going to be opening um, Pride and Prejudice, and uh, that will play for three weeks. And then uh, a few weeks after that, we will be opening the incredible hit musical Mamma Mia. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. I know, right? We've waited right. 10 years right. to get the rights to this show. And so Meryl is coming down here. No, no, we have someone no. that's a much better singer than Meryl. Oh. Um, forgive me, Meryl, if you're listening. Wow. Because I know you hang out here in the Santa Cruz Valley. She hears it. So she hears, she hears it. She has, she has peeps, I'm sure. I'll, I'll, probably get, I'll probably get hate mail. But no, seriously. I've never, she, she, well, she's, she's overrated okay, anyway, from, no, what no, I, 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 from what I understand. When, in the acting department, I don't think anyone's more overrated. I'm underrated than she is, <laughs> actually, because she's an incredible actress. Um, but uh, yeah, we have a terrific uh, cast. And really, really talented people. You can, it's so fun and funny. Everyone's going to want to see that show. They'll love well, it. I can, I can certainly vouch for that. I mean, the, the, so Sweet Surrender, which is playing right now for the next two weekends, is a 1940s farce, and it's tons of fun. Now, let me ask you this. We got to see opening night when your wife, who we've also had on the show, by the way, as, as one of you know our, our great teachers here in, in the community, um, we were highlighting some local heroes and she was one of them. Anyhow, I got to see Ingrid step in for one of the leads, which was incredible and impressive. Is she still doing the lead? Cause I know there no, was an emergency surgery or yeah, something. Like that. Na- Nancy, that? Nancy Lantis, who many people who are in the theater community locally know, who's incredibly talented uh, actress and director. And she uh, is playing one of the lead divas in the show and uh, her husband, Phil, calls me when the show is going to open Saturday night. He calls me Friday late afternoon and says, uh, you know, Tim, Ben, I'm sorry, but, uh, you, uh, you know, Nancy said she came into the uh, emergency room because she wasn't feeling well. Turns out that they're going to do an emergency appendectomy. Oof. So she's going into surgery. <laughs> and oh, so she won't be uh, on, on stage tomorrow night. And so uh, I immediately, uh, after uh, telling uh, him to tell Nancy to get better soon, I called Ingrid and said, uh, and, sh- and she was in the conversation, said, hey, uh, well, is there anything you need me to do? It's last minute opening, you know. And I said, yes, there's just one little thing I'd, I'd like you, you to. Since uh, you mention it. I'd like you to uh, carry a script on and go on for Nancy, who's getting an appendectomy. And this will be tomorrow night. And so she says, Okay, <laughs> and so she jumped in with both feet, and uh, it's a pretty uh, good sized part. And she had uh, the cast oh, working a, a really part. with her. Now, let me say this: she did not carry a script, not once. No, she made a decision after oh working gosh. for hours and hours learning the lines. Uh, my daughter was coaching her on the lines for hours, and then she did the dress rehearsal, which was that Friday night, with the script in hand. But by a Saturday night at opening, she had no script in hand That's and it impressive. went off flawless. Holy smokes. Yeah, she's very talented and beautiful. And people wonder why she's with me. Uh, it's the trust fund. Oh, stop it. We'll have you on the it's next show so we can discuss only. that, discuss some of those Bobby. details. Yeah? Huh? You will? <laughs> Bob, Bobby can attest that you are a beautiful man, but you also have, have a light. That shines from within. You are charming. You are funny. You are all kinds of things that a wow. woman loves. I'm, I'm getting myself a man crush creative. right now. Here, here I am. I, see, I don't know. I don't know why. I, it's, I I don't do this to Bobby enough. You're absolutely right. Now I'm realizing I'm showering Tim Ben with all this praise. I don't do that anywhere near enough with no. you, Bobby. And it's I all right. Apologize. Never mind. Forget it. The Bob, cool. Bobby. The look on Bobby's face right now is kind of priceless, actually. Mm. I, I hope they got this on video. Sometimes they run that video in here. It is. They do. Oh, well, that's good. They do. Oh, damn it. I just put so, tears on the... I'm sorry. The tears were coming down on the phone. Hang on a second. Here we go. Wipe that off. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your man crush. Bobby, Bobby is a brother. He's, he's, no, he's you can't go from one to the other. Your words are meaningless so, right now. Tim Ben, here. Let me, let me try and redeem myself a little bit here. Tim Ben... Sir. Let me ask you this: When can Bobby and I audition for any of the of, of the plays that you have coming up? That that's the real question. Because yeah. Bobby, I'll have you know, is a fantastic singer. He's an amazing performer, and you will want to try and coerce him into one of your shows. I guarantee. Oh yeah, they, it, easy. It's easy because you being guys, you know, and the theater doesn't have enough uh, men in big shows. Uh, 
I mean, we're do we're we're do big shows right now. I mean, if Bobby were to walk down the street and and see could carry a tune in a bucket, he'd be in the next show, right? He could be in Mamma Mia. It's not too late. I could I mean, be in no. Mamma Mia. You could be. Yeah. Well, I mean, Meryl Streep's part? No, probably the bouncer at the bar or something like the that. The bouncer you know? at the bar. Well, you're kind of big. How do you? No, no, no. You should play the you should play the the Pierce Brosnan part. Yeah. No. Or the, you could do, make some serious work. You could come audition for South Pacific, which we're doing uh, oof. next year. Once you have found her, never let her go. See, there you go. See. <laughs> See, I, th- I think I c- they're both in the show. I don't know what See, parts you're playing, but I know it. I could be a bouncer in Mamma Mia. How does that work with a musical? Get out! <laughs> I don't. That is my my only line. I would guess. <laughs> Jason, thanks for volunteering me. That's not awkward at all. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm not volunteering. I'm, I'm asking when can we audition? He said any time. Yeah, open auditions. The Canyon Theater is very much about open auditions. We have. Open auditions, and then the best person gets the part, and uh, that is frustrating for some people. And uh, in, in, in for some people, it's great because sometimes the f- person will come out the first time out, and they they score a lead. It doesn't happen that much because there's quite a bit of competition. Yeah. But it, it it occasionally happens. We got new talent that comes in, comes into town, or comes up from LA. They just fit. And so yeah, they just fit right, the part. So and whoever is the best for the part. So see that. That happened, actually, in back. So I did Black Hills Theater in, in South Dakota, and I was new to the scene. I had my own television show out there, and so this was the first time I went to the theater and, and decided to, to try, and uh, I got the lead. But it was Tony and Tina's wedding, and it was just... A fun show. I mean, it was such a... Because I do the New York thing all the time, and it, anyway, it just it was just perfect. And so, so, yeah, I got the lead. So it can happen. You know, if once you have the the right payment. Um, so, Jason, <laughs> what were you going to say? The Sorry. Payment, that's I was going to ask if Pride and Prejudice has been cast. And yes. I was going to ask if, if Mamma Mia has been cast. Yes, Pride and Prejudice has been cast, and Mamma Mia is, has been cast, although we're still adding a few males to the uh, chorus. So uh, oh, okay. let, let me right. know. Of course. Uh, as a, as a, struck out again. The as next a bouncer. Show, the next show is a big show as well, and it's uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, I and love that. So, one. yeah, you come out and do a Christmas show. Merry Christmas, fun. you old five and dime. <laughs> that's the worst. That was totally <laughs> off. That's a wonderful life. That yeah, you're, that's a... you're going for there. We do. Oh, Miracle show, on 34th Street. Now I know which one. <laughs> yeah, it's a. That's close. Uh, I did Jimmy the wrong... Stewart was kind of. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's. Uh, <laughs> I did the wrong one. <laughs> you did the wrong Christmas show. It's okay. Oh. But we do that one too. Right. But just not this year. Okay. No, it that's. Was not a wonderful no, that's all, that's, I got that's embarrassed. That's one of my all-time favorites. Whoops. Uh, one yeah. of my all-time favorites. It is. It's one of the best it movies, is. I think, top five, easy, in the world. I agree. I, I love it. Yeah. It holds up every year. I cry more. I cry more than I did the previous year. When I, I mean, sometimes I skip a year, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, that, yeah. is, that film is definitely one of the top five. I could be in that play. I could be the drunk Santa that gets replaced. Do you have that part yeah. yet? Yeah. Oh, no. We, no, we don't do any pre-casting. So, but, you know, when you walk through the door, we'll remember that, I'm sure. There you go. The drunk Santa would. Did you hear that, Jason? Uh, you know. I'm the one that's going to be replaced. <laughs> okay. Um, so Tim, he did Tim theater Bay. in the Black Hills, and he's ready for the big time. I'm ready for the big time. For uh, downtown New York right now. Christmas. I could do it. You want me to perform so Tim, it right now? Tim Ben. Tim uh, ben yes, you've sir. Been, you've been doing this for almost 30 years here. You've directed 47 shows. Who knows how many you've been in. He's appeared in over 30 productions, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, so, yeah, why don't you go ahead and read his, his, uh, his little... <laughs> it's, it's, we've covered it. We've covered it, pretty much covered it. We've covered it now. <laughs> okay, yeah. what, I'm gonna a- what I wanted to ask was, you know, do you still love what you do as much as you did 30 years ago? Do you still love this community, and do you still find joy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there are, of course, days, just like any job that you have, uh, especially in a theater where you mm-hmm. know there's not a lot of money, okay, uh, and being in, being in, in theater. Uh, so, yeah, you have your days like any other job, but, yeah, I'm still doing it because um, I want to do it. I mean, and what else would I do, be a prison guard or something? I, I don't know. In a play? Uh, n- 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 no, n- n- nothing oh. against people who are actually prison guards, actually. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, What's wrong with being a prison guard? There's nothing. Nothing at all. 
In fact, I used to uh, teach in the juvenile detention camps, mm-hmm. and they had barbed wire there. They're very the admirable prison guards, but whatever. That's fine. We can rake on them. Tim Ben, Tim ben he, he's trying to bait you because he used to be a police officer, so he, you know, don't, don't fall for it. Oh, was he? Uh, a police? Did he work in at probation ever? No. no I no, was on the that, street, my friend, the street? Okay. risking my life. Oh, really? For you and your family. Uh, Ingrid, was it? Well, thank you. Thank was, you for that. Was that welcome. here or in, in the Black Hills? It, it, it was a small community of 20 that uh, I was very proud of. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read up on this guy. If I had known I was in studio with him, I'd, I, I would have uh, d- done my, more homework. Yeah. But you can fill me in later. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> No, but, I mean, it, it is a fact that he was a police officer. Yep. I don't know about the town of 20. Oh. Where where were you a police officer? In Colorado. Actually, for reals and true, in Colorado. Oh. My wife is slightly, from Colorado. Love slightly Colorado. more than 20. Yeah, I love I was born and raised. My dad was a cop in Littleton for 27 years, so I think I was going to follow in his footsteps. And I was only a cop for about five years, five, six years. Wow. So, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I got, there you go. I got family. You have any cop roles? We got cop roles. Yeah, we get yeah. cop roles. Absolutely. I could be a cop with an Irish brogue. The old-fashioned cops. Oh, well. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. My talents stretch, my friend, but we don't need to talk whatever about it. it. Is, whatever it is, he has to have an accent. That, that's in the writer. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, um, that's good. So, so sure, and if you aren't Irish. Hi. Ah, uh, tell me about it, I'm laddie. So <laughs> Where are you from? Are you from the county court, don't you know? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I just got put down by the fastest gun in the West. Oh, no. I, I'm sure it's wonderful. Let's just talk a little about the old country. <laughs> Don't you know a little, a little shot of this, a little shot of that? Wow. Are you hearing this, Jason? Uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. <laughs> Both of you with the lucky charms. What do you? That's not cultural appropriation, by the way. I actually am uh, about 25% I'm Irish. Irish. So too. am I. See, I'm I... 93%. Uh, overseas, British, that, Irish. I'm liking you more all the See? time. I, I know. If you buy us a, a round of Guinness, I'm going to really start to <laughs> warm up. Uh, nice. That, uh, that doesn't have to be here anytime. Anytime. Yeah, you can buy me a round of Guinness. Outside the studio. Yeah, outside the studio. Just studio. to be clear. Yeah, uh, and Jason would come, but he's in Costa Rica. Yeah, he has a be. cabana boy to bring him Guinness. Probably having himself a Mai Tai or something with oh rum. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are, are you drinking a Mai Tai? Uh, no, it's not a Mai Tai. It's a uh, um, pina colada, I think. Pina, pina colada. colada. A Shirley Temple? <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm currently not drinking anything. I'm on, I'm on the radio. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Can't um, drink and anyway, talk. Tim Ben Boydston of the Canyon Theater Guild. Please go and see Sweet Surrender. It's it's uh, it's playing this weekend, the following weekend, and then Pride and Prejudice opens, which I'm sure will be fantastic. Can't wait to see it. And then, as he said, they've been waiting ten years to put up Mamma Mia, so you don't want to miss that. And uh, and look, it's it's not only a great time, but you're supporting theater in our community and these wonderful people involved in this theater, and I cannot recommend it more. So. Tim Ben, we so appreciate you coming, and we're definitely going to have you back because not many people can show up, Bobby Marqueso, when they come into the studio like that. So <laughs> I don't know about show up, but the look on his face now, I'm wondering <laughs> if he's just concealed and carried or what. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to be watching my back as I walk down Main Street. I'll tell walk you out of the studio backwards. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the show. It's been really fun. You got it. You got it. Always, always a pleasure to partake and uh we will definitely have you back lots of fun um so i guess we're gonna take a break and we'll talk a little bit more when we come back with bobby mark queso and patty Sweek and and uh tim ben has to go back and and get the theater ready for well no today's monday see i'm on vacation i'm thinking it's the weekend isn't that crazy okay just just take us out jason gee we're going to talk about vacation when we come back. Right here, oh Common Ground, KHTS, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. 
The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable, quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you. When was the last time you had a business insurance checkup? That long, eh? It's most likely Glen Terry time for you and your business. Glen Terry has been a Santa Clarita resident since 1980 and has deep roots in the community. 22 years in the insurance industry, a trusted commercial insurance specialist with LBW, licensed in 50 states, there's nobody I'd trust more. Call Glen Terry today and set up your free business insurance checkup at 661-702-6005. Glen Terry sticks to the mission, not the co-mission. Yeehaw! Santa Clarita business owners may be entitled to new stimulus money that is outside PPP assistance and SBA loans. If you own a business, you may qualify for additional stimulus money. Hundreds of Santa Clarita businesses are receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars from the American Rescue Plan. For details on how you can qualify, visit hometownstation.com forward slash stimulus. That's hometownstation.com forward slash stimulus. Hometownstation.com forward slash stimulus. Do you suffer from peripheral neuropathy in your hands or feet? One drug after another, continuing numbness, tingling, burning pain, balance problems, decreased quality of life? Are you experimenting with drugs like Lyrica, Neurontin, Gabapentin, Cymbalta with limited success and your doctor telling you you just have to live with it? My name is Dr. Thomas Pilecki, DC, host of Get Better with Dr. Pilecki and founder of Neuropathy Dr. X. I'm here to tell you that there is now a non-invasive natural solution to your neuropathy right here in Santa Clarita, a solution that addresses the underlying causes and we're proud to say that we have an 87 to 97% success rate with neuropathy sufferers in getting their lives back. I'd like to invite you to our next seminar, when we'll teach you how to reverse this deadly condition that affects over 50 million Americans today. To reserve your spot now, call 753-9340. This is a free seminar, but seating is limited. So call 753-9340 now. I listen to it all day, every day. Hometown, your hometown station. much patty i mean the music rocks but you're just like <laughs> hey i'm, you know, ro- I'm you're rocking like Napo- out you're like napoleon dynamite over there with the dancing and the pounding on the <laughs> desk good afternoon everybody it's common ground the name of the show here at khts 98.1 fm and 1220 am it's 152 in the afternoon 100 degrees now it's Yee. still just yay hot <laughs> and uh and jason downs you know, once again, I came inside the studio. I said, hi, I'm Bobby Marqueso, and I turned to the left. Nobody's there. Why? Oh, he's on vacay. I'm thinking, oh, that's cool. You're traveling around the country with Jason and, you know, the family, and I can see him in the car having a good time, singing tunes and, you know, having a good time. And he said, no, we're not driving. I apologize for the spotty reception. I'm in Costa Rica. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty obnoxious. It was a little bit. <laughs> add it to the list of of, uh, of of negative attributes that I have, I guess. Um, so I want to talk today a little. I, I'm curious mm-hmm. if you differentiate between doing nothing and recreation and relaxing. Do you do you differentiate between those things? Because I remember as a kid, I could walk into the woods and get you know lose myself for for hours doing nothing. I was doing plenty of things. I was I was you know jumping over the creek. I was climbing a tree. I was you know I was doing all kinds of things, but I was wasn't I, I was doing nothing, I, yeah. and I loved it. Yeah, and I haven't done that in a long time. I don't think I've done that since I was, since well, really since I became a father, probably. Yeah, and I don't think that I've been on a vacation where I'm literally just sort of. I mean, we're at this. We're just at a resort, you know, on the beach. 
Jesus, and, here he goes again. And there's nothing to do. You know, there's nothing there is to do there except do nothing. And it's wonderful. It's it took me a couple of days to acclimate, but but it's also it's different than doing a recreational activity too, because you re, you're sort of forced to just rest, like truly relax and rest. Anyway, I've just been thinking about these these uh, I guess subtle differences because you know at the end of the day we'll. Somebody crack open a beer, you watch a ball game, you go to a play, you, you, you know, you watch your favorite TV show. That's entertaining and it's relaxing for a moment. But you know that you've got to go to bed and get up in the morning and do your thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. not true. You're not truly doing nothing. You're not truly recreating yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Rejuvenating yeah. yourself. And if you do that for enough years... Like me, I, I mean, I just, I, I'm here and I realized I, I haven't relaxed in this way in probably a decade. Goodness sake. Anyway. That is kind of crazy. Mean, I, yeah, it is. I, I agree. I mean, so when was the last time you went on a truly relaxing, do nothing vacation? Do you Saturday. Remember? Saturday. No, oh. <laughs> no, I. But, but, but see, that's the. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So you think you are you fully able to relax over the weekend, a two day weekend type thing? Not. So I do understand the clarification now of what you're saying. So there are times like yesterday was. We usually take one day a week where it's just do nothing, right? We're just laying around the house. You know, everybody's either watching their individual shows. My wife likes to read. That kind of thing. And it's just really do nothing. Don't go anywhere. We're not doing anything. So that's nice. But you're right. There is always this hint of, but we're going to go to bed tonight, wake up in the morning, then we've got to go grocery shopping. We have to do all of this stuff, right? But right. To, to completely be in an area where you don't have anything going on the next day, yeah, it's been a little while for that. Uh, last time was probably on a cruise to Mexico because um, you know you didn't have to get up and just go, go, go. You know, type of thing. Okay. So, yeah, I, I I get what you're saying. But I do take, I do relax a lot. And relaxing to me is what, watching sometimes something nonsensical that doesn't take a lot of brain power to, to watch and understand and figure out. And sure. um, Absolutely. So, you yeah. know, it's just, kind of, yeah, it's just that for me. Yeah. I, yeah. But I you're wonder... so busy, though. Like, you're rotary and then you show here and then you're just involved in so much and like you're, you said being a dad believe me my kids yeah. my daughter's now wanting me to take her everywhere so yeah you can yeah it's it's, it's non-stop i mean even on the even on the weekend so yeah, yeah i mean we have moments of relaxation absolutely i i can sit on the couch i can lie in bed i can take a nap you know these sorts of things definitely happen from time to time yeah and and that's what keeps us going Right. I mean, that keeps it that that gives us that little bit of juice to to keep going or it gives us that little bit incentive to look forward. To, oh, I'm you know, I'm going to be hanging out with friends this weekend. I can't wait. You know what I mean? And that'll right. be that'll be relaxing and that'll be fun. That that that's fine. And, and that's great. And and that does happen often and, and does keep me going. But being here this week now, I guess this is day five, I want to say. Um, and it took me a few days, you know what I mean? It took me a few days. I, I felt uncomfortable the first few days and not yeah. uncomfortable. We, we were having fun, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it, it takes you a bit. I was like, can I really let my body relax? That's and it's, what I mean by uncomfortable. You can know what I it makes really it let, difficult too let my is, brain go, yeah. you know what I mean? And what makes it difficult as well is first it takes you a couple of days to finally get into the groove of, okay, I'm on vacation. Then you have maybe two days or three after that before it starts back with, okay, we're going to be going back home soon, <laughs> and I'm going to have to work. <laughs> right, I have right, to do right. this next week. I have to do that. And and you're right. You, it's very difficult to stop yourself from all of that. But yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this is why I take it out on you and Patty every week. You know what I mean? I but stopped I, wondering. I just protect myself now. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I don't okay. wonder where the man with the knife came from. I just am protecting myself. It's just survival <laughs> at this point. So we have uh, <laughs> we have a, a minute left. Do you want to close the show from 
the the Rika? Yeah, yeah, I would I would love to because uh, you know we need to shout out to our wonderful sponsors, Denny and Company LLP. They make your life less taxing. DennyLLP.com. Reach out for any of your tax needs, and of course, the law offices of Lou Espen at EspenLaw.com. You can call and consult with Lou. Uh, we can vouch for these guys personally. They are amazing. And of course, thank you, Patty. Thank you, KHDS. Thank you, Bobby Marqueso, and our guests, Tim Ben Boydston and Laura Munoz. Don't forget SCB Day. Have a beautiful day yourselves. And thank you so much for joining us here on Common Ground, KHTS 98.1 FM and AM 1220.